Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now, the keen eye amongst you will notice I am not at Hannifield in Essex. I am in fact at Derwent, up in the northeast of England. Some of you know this, but the company I work for who own Hannifield also own a group of reservoirs up in the northeast and Derwent is one of them. Um, up here with a colleague of mine, Paul, uh, for a weekend, doing a little bit of work, getting to know the, the reservoirs up here and the members of staff, all the ranger team, everything like that. Have a little bit of a whistle stop tour. Now, we're heading back today, but before we go, I absolutely had to have a little go at fishing whilst I was here. Now, look at this water. Well, how incredible is it? It is, in fact, the second largest reservoir in the country. Okay, apologies for the interruption, but uh, I'm just sitting here editing the video that you're currently watching. And I thought I'd just fact check that, just to make sure I've definitely got it right. And I'm not right, I don't know where I got that from. What I think is, it's the second largest reservoir of the group of reservoirs that the company own. And somewhere in my brain, I equated that to the second largest in the country. I think, in fact, it's the 13th largest in the country, but it's still massive. Uh, so if you hear me say that more than once in this video, I've already corrected myself. So there's no need to come in the comments and slam me for it. I've already done it myself. Um, so enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, which is absolutely incredible and a bit mind blowing. We are going to try and catch a pike today. Now, with water this size and the limited time we have, we literally only have maybe a couple of hours before we've got to get on the road and make the long journey back down south. I want to catch one fish. That's all I'm aiming for. Don't care how big, just want one. But even between us, I don't even care if it's not me that catches it. If, it pulls, if Paul catches it, I'm just as happy. Uh, I'm going to take two rods down with me. I'm going to have my big soft plastic rod. More of a just try to single out a bigger fish if we start catching a few. And then I'm going to take my lighter rod and I'm probably going to start with either a crankbait or a lipless crank because uh, I think we'll be fishing over some sort of rocky ground. I want to fish over the top of it. These fish seem to be held up in the rocks and sort of shooting up and hitting anything that runs over the top of them. So that's what we're going to start with. Um, to be honest, just catching a secondary. Look at the environment we're in. It's absolutely unbelievable. Let's see what we can do. What have I got? I've got something. What have I got? On the old lipless. Be a pike. It is a pike. <laughs> On the lipless. Um, right, where's my net? Now oh, my net's caught. In the net. Lovely. Mission accomplished. All right. I've got the lure all caught in the net, so I'm not going to mess around too much. Only a little tiny bit. Look at the colours on it. Absolutely incredible. Um, I, I haven't even got a tripod, so I can't set it up. But look at it. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to put this one back. Okay, got to be a little bit careful. I don't go arse over tip. Try and get a little bit of a release shot. There you go. Come on, turn around. There we go. Wow, look at it in the water. Brilliant. Woohoo! And look at where I'm fishing. Does it get any better than that? Wow, uh, I know that's only a small pike, it's a very small pike, but that's probably one of my um, up there with my, probably my top five pipe catches of all time because look at this water. It is immense and the chances of me dropping onto one in a little one to two hour session are so low but i managed to get one i'm so pleased and it's probably the first one i've had in a long time on a lipless crankbait and um, it's not something i pull out very often but with the uh, amount of rip wrap in front of me losing crankbaits left right and center it seemed a sensible thing to do and it paid off so 
I'm going to try and get another one now, see if we can get a bigger one. Now we've got one, the next target is maybe try and get a double. A double would be year sorted for me. I'd be so pleased for a double from here. Just watch the trout rise down here. One, one's gone past you as well. And again. And again. Where, what, not? No, the, the, look, it's there. There's a trout here. Keep swirling, taking little tiny flies. There's loads of them. There's loads of them. The trout, the little, the... Look, see there, got a fish. I've got a fish. Excellent. This is bigger. Oh, Don't swear I'm frithioing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll have to bleep that. <laughs> see better fish. Ooh. Ooh, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Oh, it's come off! No. That was a good one. He broke off. No, it's just come off. Oh. Oh, oh it snapped the treble, look. Oh. <sighs> cheap treble, cheap feet. Yeah. Oh, annoying. And he was a Bugger! Good... That was a good fish, that. Yeah. Bugger, bugger. Oh, well, losing that fish was... Uh... Pretty devastating, actually. I did say I just wanted one more, and if it had been a good and a, a double, I'd have been really pleased. Um, and it did feel like a good fish. Unfortunately, it's one of those things, the, the point went on the hook and it snapped. Um, might have just been the fact it wasn't really in right. Sometimes if you hit a little bit of hardness in the mouth, a little bit of bone, they don't penetrate right, and they bend a funny angle, and they end up snapping. Um, it never, you know, it's, it's nothing you can do to stop that. Sometimes that just happens. Um, we'll fish on for a little while yet, and just see if we can nab one but realistically we're gonna get on the road soon and start heading back down to uh, the south where we're from and uh, yeah that's it Let's see if we can get one more okay guys just very quickly I just wanted to give you a little bit of info about the fishing here at Derwent and the rules and some of the permits you can buy now there is a pike fishing permit that you can buy it does limit you on things like lure size and stuff like that, so you have to use a minimum of a five inch lure if you're buying a pike permit and fishing for pike. There is a way around that. If you want to fish for pike with smaller, smaller lures that like I have today, you can do what I do, and you can get yourself an eight fish or a five fish trout ticket. That allows you to fish with the smaller lures, and if you do happen to bump into trout, you can keep them. Uh, the reason for that is obviously if you're fishing smaller stuff like this, inevitably at some point you're going to bump into a trout or two. This means that these trout can be retained, they can be kept, and not really get put back with uh, damage from trebles and things like that because it does happen when you, when you catch trout on these, these sort of lures. Um, you're not going to catch loads of them, I haven't caught any today, um, so it, it just gives you that option that you can you can fish these small lures for pike. Uh, if you do want to stick to the big stuff, you know, my other rod with the big sort of plastics, that would be fine for me to buy a pike permit. Uh, but yeah, if just I want to say, make sure you read the rules, make sure you get the correct permit and you're fishing how they want you to fish here. If you've got any questions, any queries, give the rangers a call and they will answer them for you. Okay, that is our very short session done here at Derwent. Um, if anyone's interested in fishing here at Derwent, I'll leave a link below to the website and the rules and the ticket costs and everything like that. Uh, but what I will say is if you are coming, and especially if you're interested in pike fishing, give the rangers office a call first. Talk to the rangers. They're the ones in the know. They're the ones that are out there every day seeing what's going on. They will put you on to where the fish are. Uh, obviously Derwent's a massive, massive water. You can fish up one end and be absolutely nowhere near the fish. So any info you can glean from the rangers is uh, you know, absolutely invaluable. Uh, I've really enjoyed myself, even though like it's a couple of hours. Had that one little one, lost a good one, and I, and I reckon it was probably a double, uh, which for someone like this, is, is, and especially up in the North East, uh, they don't get big, big. Um, so I would have been really pleased with that. But I tell you what it has done, it's made me want to come back. So if you want to see a little mini series and a tour of me coming to fish in these northern reservoirs, um, showing you all the different fishing they have to offer, you know, there's, there's, there's stocked rainbows, there's beautiful wild brownies, there's roach, there's pike, and there's all sorts of rivers around here as well. It could make a really, really interesting series of videos. So if you want to see that, please let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.